So what's up, guys? Today's the day. We're checking out this highly anticipated <laughs> X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> okay regardless of what that was i'm pumped for this one all right guys so we definitely checked out the road cut so y'all didn't come jump us in the comment sections and let us know that we messed up on that and honestly thank you guys for letting us know because we definitely get a lot out of these extended editions and yeah man you guys have been excited for this for like at least a month y'all been calling for this movie so i'm really excited to see it let's go let's go New York City. NYC, baby. The future. A dark, desolate world. Hold on. <laughs> what? A world of war. Suffering, loss on both sides. Mutants and the humans who dared to help them. Fighting an enemy we cannot defeat. Are we destined down this path? Destined to destroy ourselves like so many species before us? Look, let's go. Whose is it? Or can we evolve fast enough to change ourselves? Change our fate? Is the future truly set? Is the future truly set? I have so many questions. Oh no, it's the DNA. I'm tripping. Yeah, the DNA. Just I thought we were talking up. multiverses here with Look the future being set and all that. I thought I was about to come out this game clean. You thought your immune system was undefeated. No, sir. Wolkanowski. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Russia. Mother Russia. Whoa. This is giving apocalyptic vibes. 100%. Look here. Uh oh. That man just dropped his barrel and dipped. Time's up. Sentinels. Sentinels. That's Those fun. little robot things. There's Kitty. Let's go. Feels like handball on him. Whoa. I wonder why Kitty's there though. Whoa, is he like an AI? Like a, like a machine? Like alien thing, right? Yeah. Oh my god, with a, with a punch. Oh, they're playing Portal over here. Did you see that, like, Doctor Strange kind of mutant? Yeah. Oh wow, so they're hard to kill. Iceman. He's sliding up. <laughs> Is that that guy? What? Who does ice? Yeah, ice man. Okay. I didn't even recognize him. He blew up. Oh, wow. So they kind of have some, like, mutant-esque powers. <gasps> yes, you do. Are these things, like, the next step in evolution or something? Maybe, or maybe they, like, took their powers. Or are they, like, AI or something? Okay, so Kitty's like telepathic or something. Thought she could just walk through walls. Wow. No way. Just like that. He died just as sudden as like Loki did, remember? Oh, right. And they said he's very powerful, Iceman is. So these things are. That was sick, bro. Ah, that was oh dope. my gosh. You can't kill those things. They're immortal, apparently. Look how many. Oh no. Oh, so these things are destroying the world, pretty much. Too late, assholes. What in the world? What? What just happened? Uh, maybe they went back in time. Maybe she was like trying to make him go back in time or something. That's like Cerebro, isn't it? Professor? She's Cosmonda. communicating. So she communicated with the professor. There's Cerebro. He's been looking for her, maybe. But did she disappear when she did that? Remember, she like disappeared. I don't know. 
They're in China now, though, not Russia, so maybe she... <coughs> I don't know. That's the guy she was, yeah. like, controlling. Okay! She was like a Dragon Ball Z character. So it's fire. And then Logue. <laughs> wow. That is cool. Stressing me out with his appearance. I know. When you gotta bring him along on the jet, that's a problem. Professor. Bobby. Thought he was dead. Right. Professor, you made it. Whenever the Sentinels attack, Warpath spots them. And I send Bishop back to warn us of the attack before it happens. Well, then we leave before they ever know we were there. Because that's crazy. I'll make sense now. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you were never there? She projects Bishop back in time a few days to warn the others of the coming Ooh. attack. So she sends Bishop back in time. No, just his consciousness into his younger self, his younger body. And then they change the timeline. This might just work, Charles. The Sentinel program was originally conceived by Dr. Bolivar Trask. In the early 70s, he was one of the world's leading <laughs> weapons designers. Yo, that's Peter. But it's okay. Tyrion. Completely, he had begun experimenting on <clears throat> mutants, using their gifts to fuel his own research. Oh, so he's like a bad guy. There was one mutant who had discovered what he was doing. Mutants with the ability to transform herself. Whoa. Mystique. Yeah. I knew her as Raven. We met when we were children, grew up together. In the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She was like a sister to me. She oh, betrayed you. To help her. You were her dad, Loki. She hunted <laughs> Trask across the world. And at the Paris Peace Accords in 1973, after the Vietnam War, she found Trask and killed him. Killing Trask did not have the outcome she expected. They captured her that day, tortured her, experimented on her. In her DNA, they discovered the secrets to her powers of transformation. It gave them the key they needed to create weapons that could adapt to Whoa. any human power. So her DNA and created in 50 years, right. basically the, the apocalypse. That destroyed so many That's why they showed its skin. Yeah, flipping like that, just like hers. But it all started that day in 1973. If I can get to her. Stop the assassination. Keep her out of their hands. Then we can stop the Sentinels from ever being born. And end this war before it ever begins. I can send someone back a couple weeks. M maybe a month. But you're talking about going back decades. You have the most powerful brain in the world, Professor. But the mind can only stretch so far before it snapped. It would rip you apart. No one could survive that trip. Ooh. What if someone's mind has a way of snapping back? What if someone can heal as fast as they're ripped apart? It's a risk. Yeah, I'm getting there. Some of us could be killed. Some of us may never be born. Oh, yeah. We have no idea how things may change. My people need to vote. Minus all the potholes, I'm filling it. They just did. They're in. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, clean. So let's go, guys. We got to go to the past, save the future. Stop Oliver Trousk. Is Ball that what they said? Bolivar. Bolivar Trousk. So we got to stop this guy. Then we got to stop Mystique from killing him. Well, yeah, 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 we gotta stop. But we also gotta stop him from spreading his message too. They gotta find a way to convince him, I'd imagine, right? Right. Without using violence, because that's what doomed the whole thing. Why don't you get a cough drop? So I wake up in my younger body, God knows where. Then what? You'll need to go to my house and find me. Convince me of all of this. Won't you be able to just read my mind? I didn't have my powers in 1973. Oh, wow. Heaven, you're going to have to do for me what I once did for you lead me guide me i was a very different man then you'll have to be patient <laughs> he was probably partying in the Patience 70s is my strongest suit <laughs> you'll need me as well what after mystique left charles she came with me and i set her on the dangerous path darker path yeah you wrong for that bro <laughs> side by side at a time when we couldn't be further apart that's crazy. He's going to have to go talk to them at a younger age to get Mystique on board. That's crazy. He's going to be playing the like, uh, like the guidance, <laughs> the guidance role. A Logan of all people. <laughs> as long as you're back there, past and present will continue to coexist. But once you wake up, whatever you've done will take hold and become history. And for the rest of us, it'll be the only history that we know. It'll be like the last 50 years never happened. In this That's kind of weird, right? In this war, the only person who will remember it is you that is so sad all right logan i need you to clear for someone who remembers nothing you know as possible that's too much for one if person to handle rocky, remember all that for me to hold you and you could start to slip between past and future but what if i need to get a little rocky 
Think peaceful thoughts? <laughs> peaceful thoughts. So yeah, think of Jean Grey. Well, I mean, you don't really age, so you'll pretty much look the same. You won't have much time in the past. The Sentinels will find us. They always do. And this time we won't be able to run. We'll have no escape. This is our last chance. You really think this will work? I have faith in him. So the human right about it, so we're mm -hmm. young. We didn't know any better. We will now. Oh, he's gonna have to convince them. That's so crazy. This might sting a little. How's he gonna do it? Magneto is stubborn. No! <laughs> Who's this on him? That's not Kayla, right? Man, she sleeps hard as hell. <laughs> I wonder why they picked this day, though, for him to go back, you know? Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah. We can't support a weapon that targets our own citizens. If these mutants, as you describe, are already living among us, then they are living here peacefully. We're sorry, Dr. Trask, but your Sentinel program, it ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Yo, the school's run down. Oh, no. Hank. Can I help you? You're a beast. <laughs> I said the school's closed. You need to leave. Not until I see the professor. Because I was sent here for you. Well, tell whoever it was that sent you that I'm busy. But it was you. A little trick. <laughs> because the person who sent me was you. What? About 50 years from now. <laughs> if someone told me that, though, I would be I like, you're lying. <laughs> 50 years from now, like in the future, 50 years from now. Yeah. I sent you from the future. Yeah. I'm like, why are you dressed like that, bro? You're from the past. If you had your powers, you'd know I was telling the truth. How do you know I don't have my... Who are you? I told you. Are you CIA? <laughs> no. You've been watching me. I know you, Charles. We've been friends for years. I know your powers came when you were nine. I never told anyone that. Wow. All right, you've piqued my interest. Yeah, that's some proof right there. We have to stop Raven. I need your help. Oh, yeah, Hank and Raven had a little crush thing going on, remember? Yeah. She is unique. <laughs> All you guys are unique, though. The Sentinels were just targeting mutants. And they began to identify the genetics in non-mutants who would eventually have mutant children, grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Many of the humans tried to help us. But it was a slaughter, leaving only the worst of humanity in charge. I've never seen anything like this. You're at That's war, bro. We no, we gotta get Magneto. Eric, <laughs> you do know where he is. Yeah. Yeah, he's locked up. <laughs> he is in prison, right? I think Can so. You give me that one more time, please. You heard me. He's where he belongs. Well, I said you're just gonna walk out. Oh, top marks. Like I said, you are perceptive. The professor I know would never turn his back on someone who lost their path. Especially That's right. Someone you love. You know, is on flare jeans. I, I do remember you now. Yeah, tall, angry fellow with contentious hair. <laughs> I came to you a long time ago, seeking your help, and I'm gonna say to you what you said to us then. He was sitting in a bar. Remember? Mm. Fuck off. This <laughs> little shit. I've come a long way. I told you there was no professor here. What the hell happened to him? Lost everything. Eric, Raven, me, his legs. I wanted to help do something, so I designed the serum to treat his spine. You know, derived mm. from the same formula that helps me control my mutation. Oh, yeah. I take just enough to keep myself balanced, but he takes too much. So it's kind of like an addiction in a way. Back. He just couldn't bear the pain. The voices. The treatment gives him his legs, but he's, he's just lost too much. You know, That's Raven right there. He's really that I depressed was, about it. I couldn't be the only one in the world. Charles Xavier. Raven. Oh. I'll help you get her. You think you can convince Raven to change? To come home? But what makes you think you can change him? Because you and Eric sent me back here together. Dang, bro. That's gonna be so confusing, you know? Yeah, not just that. It was built during the Second World War when there was a shortage of steel. So the foundation is pure concrete and sand. No metal. He's being held a hundred floors beneath Bro. the most <laughs> heavily guarded building on the planet. What's the next? A paper jail? A paper mache jail? <laughs> we don't have any resources to get us in. All out. I know what. Can you pause this for one second, babe? So you're not afraid to show your powers? Powers? What powers? What are you talking about? Nothing anybody would believe if you told them. We need your help, Peter. Break into a highly secured facility and get someone out. Prison break? They're recruiting him. That's so nice. This is Logan doing it. It's cool. It was disgusting. I kind of feel like he does. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I feel like, oh, bro. Keep your bone up. Forty-three minutes in or so. This is the most interesting movie we've seen so far. I think. Yeah, I'm like. I'm loving the I'm time travel toes. and all that, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see what the end of this looks like. 
with a different outcome. I hope they get to like see each other from the past and future. That'd be so cool. Oh, like Logan runs into himself? No, like uh, Charles runs into himself. Or either one? Yeah. I want Charles or uh, Magneto too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he did that so fast. There he is. What's he trying to do? Break it? Oh, he's like moving super fast? I can't tell. Whoa, he just vibrated so fast he broke it. That's crazy. In three seconds, those doors are going to open. And 20 guards will be here to shoot us. I know. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm holding your neck so you don't get whiplash. What? We... Lash. Oh, he's about to run him, isn't he? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I like the portrayal of this guy in this version better. <laughs> he looks like Amelia Earhart. He does, but so his the portrayal of how fast he goes is cool yeah, in this one. It is. Must have done something pretty serious. What'd you do, man? For killing the president. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a code red situation. We are evacuating the entire floor so that we, my uh, associate and I, can uh, secure the prison. Who are you? We are. Uh, we have to get you to the third floor. Oh! Oh! Charles. Oh! Believe me, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to. If we get you out of here, we do it my way. No killing. No helmet. I'm never. Getting inside of that head again. I need your word, Eric. <laughs> it's dark in there. Hands up! Yeah, he's suppressed right now. No! There you go. If only y'all had plastic cutlery. If I <clears throat> could oh, heck no. What? <laughs> the first thing that I'd like to do. He's about to if smack that guy. <laughs> Whoa. Is this this is portraying just how fast he is, right? Right, not Charles. Wow. It made it seem like it was Charles, right? Yeah. Reasonable. That's crazy. Because look how slow it is for him. <laughs> yeah, he is definitely straight clock stopping up in here. I know. Let me know if y'all saw clock stoppers growing up. That movie used to blow my mind, dude. I, I, I think I've seen it, but I really don't remember it. Okay, that was insane. That was insane, that scene. That's what I was saying. A mutant for every situation. There you go. That's good. Yeah, good work, dude. They just don't even know what he really did. Why did they dig you up? You're gonna find this hard to believe. <laughs> but, uh, you sent me. You and Charles. From the future. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Blew oh. his whole mind, didn't he? <laughs> not when you put your leg to his throat. Oh, she just put him to sleep, that's all. She's not that bad, guys. There is a new enemy out there. An enemy that will render your arsenals useless, your armies powerless, and your nations defenseless. Oh, he's trying to get somebody behind this. Yeah, he's about, to shock, he's about to shock these people's minds. You think they, they all know? I don't know. War. I call them Sentinels. What makes the Sentinel so special is the ability to target the Mutant X gene. A genetic guidance system that can lock onto a mark a half a mile away and won't trigger unless it's identified the target. If I turn it on, the system couldn't even activate in here. Uh-oh. Unless... There's a mutant. Who's it gonna be? Whoa! I don't... There has to be some kind of mistake. What a blue one. How do you know? Well, because she choked him out. <gasps> oh, yeah! I... No, don't shoot it. I, I didn't think she had to do all that to just be him, though. I don't know what you're talking about. Bro, I just didn't think I was about to be watching Peter Dinklage up in there. Me either. And that striker right there. He's been whooping his butt for decades. Raven. <sighs> Raven. 
<laughs> Things going crazy over there. We've come for you, Eric and I, together. Oh, he's getting the flashes. I'm going to keep you safe. I'm going to keep you out of their hands. Eric? Eric? What is he doing? What are you doing? Securing our future. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Bro! Oh my gosh, he fired the gun. He's gonna curve the bullet. Magneto oh, this is so tough. Is oh, he's curving it. Oh, that thing's curving. Bro, he's basically hitting her with a no wood. He's just using. Whoa. That was crazy. He's slipping. He's slipping back. I'm losing it. Oh no. Not right now. Grab it, put it. He's Get good. It out. He's good. Well, that's going right on the news. Oh gosh, they're about, to sh they're about to shock them all, aren't they? Bro, everything's coming to a head now. Oh my gosh. Oh no, you need to get Logan away from Stryker. The bullet, he's dragging the bullet, bro. Oh! That is crazy. This movie just popped off. What? You came to us. Who are you? Charles. Well, Charles Xavier. I don't know you. Huh? What the hell is that? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I hey. can deal with this. Let's go. Stop Eric. He's really insecure though. That's yeah, why. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what I want because I know why Eric's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's complicated. It? <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought he was Doc Ock for a minute. <gasps> She's wounded pretty bad. Oh no. I got him. There you go. Good job. What happened to you? I just saw someone who's gonna bring me a lot of pain someday. Oh, wow. Stryker. Where's Raven? Gone. People ask, where did they come from? Will they be back? And most importantly, are they friend or foe? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we dealing with here? Off the record. That's a pretty good Richard Nixon, though. This yeah. Eric Lentz Are you seeing him recording? Escaped from a maximum security prison inside the Pentagon. We believe that this woman is a former associate of Lentz's. They were together in Cuba the day of the crisis in 62. What about that thing? We don't know what that thing is, sir. Actually, we really don't know what any of them are. <laughs> yes. Yes, we oh, do. Oh, here he goes. They're mutants. Ready to pitch it. He has the power to control metal, and she can transform into anyone. Even you, Mr. President. Even you. She could walk into this office and order a nuclear strike if she was in the mood. Well, do we have any countermeasures? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. I was waiting for you to ask me that question. I have eight prototypes ready to go. They're built out of a space age polymer, not an ounce of metal on them. Oh, wow. What if there's a mutant that can control plastic? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I then it's over. I want the world to know that we can protect them. I would like her for research purposes, of course. I don't care who you screw. As long as it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nixon. He's not much different than on Game of Thrones, is he? <laughs> he wants to go to a mutant brothel. <laughs> oh, no. It's your fault. But is that all he needs? Probably not. He, he got her DNA that. from the blood. But does he need just a little bit? Or hey, that's it... all you need. He got the DNA. Oh, shoot. Because he put the bullet in it. Dang, so he can still change history on act. <sighs> he was trying to stop it, but it just made it the same. Tried to kill me so the rest of us could live what do you mean we received a message from the future yeah he's telling the truth humans use your blood your genes to create a weapon that wipes us all out i was only doing what i thought necessary to secure our future so what's to stop me from killing you right now and securing my future <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter anymore they have your dna your blood was on the street whose blood was that mine trask is the enemy killing one man isn't enough it never was for you Crazy right there, wasn't it? It's crazy because they genuinely thought Eric was going to be the hard one to convince. Right. Yeah, they did. And he's over here trying to convince everyone else. Well, yeah, but he's like, yeah, I'm on board 100% because that means I can preemptively strike because he's always been down for war. Right, right, right. I think they just misjudged his nature. They both strongly protect their kind. Charles doesn't right now, though. But, but like, I can see it from all sides, though, man. This is dicey. Come on. I can't even walk. Hey, hey, pull yourself together. You don't believe that. Yes. How do you know? As these go, his yeah, there spine, you go. His Absolutely. spine back. We can't find Raymond not without your powers. I added a little extra because you missed a dose. No, no, no. Dang, so he just has to miss two doses. That stuff doesn't suppress it too good. Right. Oh, exactly. wow. Comes back fast. Don't do it, buddy. 
Dude. Uh, we can't. You know what I think is really cool though? How Wolverine gets to like really get to meet and understand Charles because he gets to see him all that throughout life. That aspects of life, yeah. And even if he doesn't really remember it, I hope that eventually he will. Yeah. Absolutely not. There it is. He had it tucked away in the closet. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, did he break it? What happened? Was there just too many or something? You couldn't handle it? Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot, right? Like he just got overwhelmed. Check the generator. Or he just couldn't control it. Like he couldn't just hang on. Right, because he's been like out of practice. Machinery, is it? Yeah. I can't do this. It's my mind. Yes, you can. It won't take it. You're just a little rusty. You don't understand. It's not a question of being rusty. I can flip the switches. I can turn the knobs. But my power comes from here. It comes from, and it's broken. Because of mystique. I feel like one of my students, helpless. I'm sorry, Logan, but they sent back the wrong man. You're right. I am. But I do know. A long time ago, actually, a long time from now, I was your most helpless student, and you True. talk to him, Logan. My mind. Look into my mind. Thank God for Logan. Mm -hmm. He's that missing puzzle piece for everything. Look for your future. I want to see. Where is he at? He projected his consciousness there. He's seeing it. Oh, he's seeing Logan like he's in a third person view of that room right now. Whoa. John. So this is what becomes of us. <laughs> Eric was right. Humanity does this to us. Not if we show them a better path. You're afraid. And Cerebro knows it. It's Bro, he just straight sunned himself. We have I know. <laughs> to bear their pain without breaking. And it's born from the most human part. Hope. Dang. Whew. Imagine if you could do that to yourself, guys. Just tell yourself what you need to know without telling yourself what you need to know. Charles, we need you to hope again. Yeah, stop self-loathing, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. Maybe he needed that. Find what you were looking for. So he went through Logan to do that? Yeah. Wow. That was his medium. That was nuts. Power's back on. And he did it without yeah. destroying Logan, too. Yeah. Yes, it is. You can do it, Charles. 1973, Charles. Get this freaking dude. Just the oh, cash gosh. derailing. Magneto could really like make millions on a construction like jobs. Is he controlling that? Come on, Bobby. No, no one has kids his power. Someone that could take her power. <gasps> Rogue. Rogue. I know, going crazy. She took yours once. Rogue. I know what Trask has done, but killing him will not bring them back. It will set you on a path from which there is no return and end the cycle of killing us and them till there is nothing left. But we can stop it right now, you and I. You just have to come home. I know exactly what I have to do. Yeah, she thinks he's just very naive. You do. She doesn't like being controlled by Charles. Yeah. Don't give up. Get back in there. Where is she? She's in an airport boarding a plane. She could be going anywhere. The old gas and water pipes lead straight to the house. Michael Scoville. <laughs> <laughs> Prison break. The walls are made of reinforced steel. In other words, a door. <laughs> I like that they're working together like that. It's like the thicker the metal is, the better the chances are he's going to break through it. It's just more metal to <laughs> manipulate. Do, 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 do. Mario. Are him and his old self in the same building? No. Well, I mean, yeah, but at different times, right? Whoa. That was crazy. I've been on that slab. Let me show you how it feels. His helmet. So he's about to get that helmet. His true intentions are about to come out. You know, Magneto. Hold on. The coin. That's his coin, bro. Bro, bro, bro. It's okay. He's with me. 
We're gonna get you out of here. Isn't that how he blocked Charles, though? That's what I'm saying. So he's dude. gonna turn. Now, dude. I don't. Yeah. So now his true intentions are about to be unveiled. Eric, Poppy, get out of there now! Here he comes. Good to see Rogue back though Take with her powers. I didn't get to say that. Oh, he's getting jumped, man. He's gonna die. He's gonna die again. Oh, no. That must have been that Rogue cut. <laughs> Get us out of here. Bobby! I know. He just doesn't have time to be, you know, mourning right now, but. Oh, really? That might be one of those casualties they're talking about. No way. I thought Eric got inside that thing, but maybe he just turned it on with the metal. Yeah, remember? I think that's what he did. Yeah. I thought he was getting inside it, though. Where's Bobby? I'm sorry, kid. That's like the worst. You send off your boyfriend and get his ex back. Dude. And she really needs to stay focused. And she is going through it in right. so many ways, dude. Oh, no. She's taking her power. Hello, Logan. I don't know what class Rogue is, but I feel like it has to be a high one, right? Yeah, she's strong. Bro. Yeah. Like, Let us know in the comments. Rogue. Okay, I saw on the news last night, there's going to be an announcement in Washington this afternoon about a, a new protocol for mutants. What if she's meant to kill Trask? What if this is just simply who she is? Just because someone stumbles, loses their way, doesn't mean they're lost forever. Speaking for yourself over there, boy. <laughs> I see it. Ready the plane. We're going to Washington. Whatever happens today, I need you to promise me something. You've looked into my mind and you've seen a lot of bad, but you've seen the good too. The X-Men. Promise me you'll find us. Guide us. Lead us. Storm. Scott. Jean. Remember those names. There's like the OGs, right? So many of us. Absolutely. We can't forget them. We will need you, Professor. Damn, what a full circle. I'll do my best. Let's go, Logan. That was encouraging. There's 12 carries inbound. 10 miles. They found us. So it was like a beacon. There you go. Thousands of people will be gathered here today. They've come from all over the world to witness history, along with news crews from at least 50 different countries. The propaganda to get people on board, eh? Right. Can I see an invitation, please? Yes, you may. These two are with me. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that would be so useful in so many ways. I'm found that yep, she has to be here. The President of the United States. My fellow Americans, today, we face the greatest threat in our history, mutants. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm pregnant. We have prepared for this threat. Behold, the world will never be the same again. That would be so I would crazy. be way more shocked than them. That's what I'm saying. There's like, oh my, robots in the 70s. Those are going to be stomping around the playgrounds. You see what our TVs look like, and we have these. Whoa. Can I help you? Why do you have a helmet no, on? I can't. What is he doing? Whoa, is he about to pick the stadium up? Dude, Charles taught him how to do that with that satellite. Remember? Oh, yeah. He wouldn't have been able to do this. He was like teaching him how to control his powers and stuff. Yeah. Here they come. This oh, Mystique's about to do it. Sisters. There she is. He promised her he would never get in her head. Let me go, Charles. There, see? Secret serviceman. Left of the stage. Got it. Go. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to think if I seen that. I swear they'd call that a weather balloon. In the 70s? I don't know what they would call it. A weather balloon? Dude, what's that funky thing? <laughs> like, what yeah, the hell are you doing? <laughs> I didn't tell you to activate them. I didn't. Magneto's in control. Everyone's way more chill about that than me. I'm serious. <laughs> Please listen to me. We've been given a second chance to define who we are. Don't do this. 
Why did it seem like Trask heard that? Did he not? Say that again? Did it not look like Trask heard him saying that? He was like looking over his head like he heard it? Mm. Mm, maybe he was just looking nah, over his head because of the robots. That no. But we can slow them down. What do you call the way they fly? Perpetual? What do you mean? Oh, they're propulsion system? Yeah, propulsion. There you go. There's on their stomach. I've never seen that before. You just can't trust my needle, man. I'm telling you. Cool. Oh, wow. She's making a hurricane to make them bump at each other. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Gang clutch, Storm. That was Magneto who did that? I don't think so. With the robots? Yeah. Somebody's controlling them. Stadium on a world tour right now. Right. I don't know who else is doing it. You're gonna need lots of bullets. Oh wow, that's a bunker under there. What the hell happened over there? I will fix it. You said that before. I wanted to make a statement. Now the whole goddamn world knows we can't protect them. I will fix it. Damn well better. Oh, he got in there. This is not Mystique right now. It looks like he's got his own war to, to rage, to be honest, man. I don't know. It looks like he's taking all this stuff and he's saying this is mine now. So he did get inside them things. And that's what I thought. Man, I don't know. That was confusing to me. Why was he making him so hostile? Is everybody okay? What's going on? <gasps> Stabbed. You're too evil to die, bro. I'm just kidding. Don't come for me, guys. Don't come for me. Uh-uh. Now I really don't like y'all. That's real life. Well, in a sense, they're both real life. So. I know, but that's like the right now. It just means Logan has to succeed. You know? Basically, if the 70s doesn't work out, they're screwed, Basically, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This music is playing that. There's so much at stake and it's making me so nervous. Let's go, beast. Do what you were made for. Where are you? That's just so crazy, bro. Like, in Mark Horn, you know? It's so basic compared to how far they came. Those love it. Hank Weak too. in hydraulic fluid, yeah. Hank sits on the cabinet as a beast. Yeah. So, like, yeah, he comes a long way, too. I'm, I'm ready to see the confidence. Oh, my God, the rebar. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh, <laughs> she oh, said. God, no. Why, Magneto? So much for being a survivor. How dare you? Logan's like, I come to bring y'all together and you just throw me in the lake like this? What the heck? So he's gonna sit there and drown over and over and over again? Uh oh. One of them is in here. No, 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 no! Don't kill it! I need it alive. Oh my god, he yanked the whole entire safe out. Oh what my the god. Heck, bro. 
It should have been plastic, y'all. Jeez, Magneto, what in the world, bro? Stick up. See all those cameras? Oh. I immediately thought, where's Charles? You know, in situations like this, where's Charles? You built these weapons to destroy us. Why? Because you are afraid of our gifts. Because we are different. But bro, did you see what you just did? All right. Feared that which is different. Well, I'm here to tell you, to tell the world, you're right to fear us. We are the future. And anyone who stands in our way will suffer the same fate as these men you see before you. The diamond. Today was meant to be a display of your power. Instead, I give you a glimpse of and the Frost. devastation That's my race can unleash upon yours. Let this be a warning to the world. And to my mutant brothers and sisters out there, no more hiding, <laughs> no more suffering. You have lived in the shadows in shame and fear for too long. Come out, join me. Fight together in a brotherhood of our kind. A new tomorrow that starts today. I mean, this sounds good, but I just think you guys are gonna be fighting each other forever. So him doing this is doing this too, right? He's changing the timeline in some type of way. Stand down. I said stand down. Oh, you want to make oh. a statement? Kill me. Fine. But spare everyone else. Oh. Because it was not him. I was about to say, didn't he get impeached? Very heroic, Mr. President. But you had no intention of sparing any of us. The future of our species begins now. Dang, disassembled with ease. Shot him right in the neck. You used to be a better shot. Trust me, I still am. Yeah, she spared you. Hmm. <gasps> Yes. Get out of my head, Charles. Raven, please do not make us the enemy today. Look around you. We already are. Yeah, Magneto just done that enough. <laughs> All you've done so far is save the lives of these men. You can show them a better path. Shut her down, Charles. Yeah, if you stop pointing the gun at them, you can still tuck your way out of it. To control you. Make Everything it seem like you're not sitting there pointing at them. And look where that's got us. Everything that happens now is in your hands. I have faith in you, Raven. Does she like the Lannisters? Let's see. But you know what I'm saying, though? If I go point a gun at that dude, I'm going to prison. It doesn't matter if I shoot him or not. Right, even the threat. Yeah, put the mm -hmm. gun down. Oh, no. Man, that's a good choice. Wow. Just ceases to exist. The timeline's different. Which honestly, man, I have so many questions after that. But yeah. Okay. He looks like Chris Christie. You probably don't know who that is, but. Nope. You guys remember who that is. Charles. Oh, nice. Somebody needs to break that thing. If you let them have me, I'm as good as dead. You know that. I know. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye, Eric. So she ends up not going on his side. I mean, I guess we'll see, right? It's just a whole new future now. Yes, I have hope for them. Because in the real timeline, she did. Time right. When we are all together. What about Logan? Yo, he's back in the future. <coughs> is he at the school? Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting, right? Just like yep. in the first movie. The this movie's had a way of coming full circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little kids. He's at the school. There's that lamp. I, I remember that lamp. Because I wanted Bobby. to get that shape for my lamp, but it was circular. Whoa, and Rogue. everyone's good. Whoa, and him and Rogue are together? Right. Chills, bro. Chills. Just 
Does that mean Jean's there? Good morning, Logan. Late start. <laughs> Man, he remembers it all, and he has no one to share that with. I hope the professor can somehow remember. Storm. Oh, that's his girl, ain't it? But I wonder if Scott comes with it. Hey, Logan. Are you okay? <laughs> Logan looking crazy right now. Where else would I be? A lot of different places, Gene. Oh, oh there Scott. he goes. <laughs> Some things never change. Good to see you, Scott. He's like, you're nice to me for uh -huh. once. This is crazy. Yo, his glasses are some Oakleys, ain't they? Mm. Yo, if I'm Scott, I'm not walking <laughs> off. You know what I'm saying? He's over here, like, putting his hands all Scott over Scott ain't worried. Scott Scott's ain't just, worried. Scott's just blind to it. <laughs> yeah, poor Logan. <laughs> like he's probably like, what the heck? I know, right? You did it. Did what? <laughs> Logan, don't you have a class to teach? Uh oh, he's a teaching class classes. To teach. Ah, history. Mm mm. That wheelchair's so tough. Actually, I could use some help with that. Help with what? Uh, pretty much everything after 1973. <laughs> I think the history I know is a little different. Welcome back. Oh, he just gets it. Uh huh. It's good to see you, Charles. It's good to see everyone. Well. Oh, he's been waiting on. I have a promise to keep. You and I have a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. So good, guys. What's the last thing you remember? Drill me. The past, a new and uncertain world. Those dudes are about to be shocked. A world of endless possibilities and infinite. Yeah, lock him up. Lock him up. Oh, he's alive. No. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> Countless choices define our fate. Each choice, uh, uh. each moment, a ripple in the river of time. That's so dang crazy, guys. With the major striker. Wow. Enough ripples, and you change the tide. He just looks evil. Look I'll at take him. him from here. For the future. We bet you will. Never truly mm -hmm. <gasps> Shut up. Crazy. <clears throat> Man, I gotta get rid of her. <laughs> Right where you need to be. So he went to jail. There you go. So we'll see more of him. That's what that basically Yeah, basically, meant. yeah. What in the hell is happening here? Oh, there just ain't no shot, bro. Mystery oh, there just ain't solved. no shot. Mystery solved. Man. That's supposed to be like King Tut or something. I don't Did know. You see the four horsemen back there? No. I don't know if that was supposed to be the four horsemen, but it was just four dudes on a horse. Holy crap. Wait, isn't the next one apocalypse? That the four horsemen means apocalypse. Okay, straight up. Yeah. Whoa, that one's gonna go dumb. Let's watch that one. All right, guys, that was X-Men Days of Future Past, the road cut. Baby, on a scale from one to ten, what do you rate this movie? Um, uh, okay, well. It was a 10 to me, 100%. It, it was my favorite so Absolutely. far of them. Everyone said it was great, and they delivered it. it was that was a damn good movie. Just yeah. superheroes aside, man, just in terms of like a blockbuster movie, that was just... You could, I think you could not watch, well, it, it would be Oof. good to watch the other movies, but I think you could not watch any movies and still enjoy this one, because it was just like... Yeah, it yeah, you could. It was just a good you movie in general, like... You could. You would definitely need to watch the other movies to really appreciate it, man. Right. That was that was wild, man. I was doing my best to keep up with it. Hope we didn't seem too lost in it. But I definitely think that anytime, basically, guys, anytime you get into time travel, it just gets really complicated. Mm -hmm. Anyways, man, this movie was nuts. Can we just talk about that end scene? Because you know me, right. guys. If you guys know me at all, I'm someone who really likes like to think about like philosophy. I like to think about history. I like to think about what reality is based on you know what we perceive it to be how were the pyramids made you know they fascinate him like crazy things like, like that he, he, he loves 100 that, yeah. right and turns out man it was just a couple mutants and i just thought it was so nuts and, that everyone was worshiping right. that lady and she was sitting there and i guess she had the ability to control stone and stuff so right that's what i was asking earlier like what if some people could like do what Control Magneto other, does, but with other, other elements, elements yeah. yeah. And that, that's what I think is really cool about the X-Men franchise that I really enjoy is that, like, there's all these moments in history and they always, like, somehow put themselves always, in it. Always. And it's like, it's like we can kind, kind of joke and be like, oh, we never knew how the pyramids were made, but now we do because it was a mutant. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, everything from, like, like the pyramids cool. to, like, Easter Island to, like, right. you know, uh, 
you know the lost people of roanoke like everything like that man you could you could take a mutant story and you could intertwine it with with every piece of history and that's what makes this franchise so much fun uh-huh. and and I really like they do that. Yeah. I mean, we saw the bombs. We saw the uh, we the saw freaking bombs. Richard we Nixon. Saw... Like, come on. We and that guy that. did a good job. He yeah. was a mix between Richard Nixon and Chris Christie. If you guys don't know who Chris Christie is, just go look him up, man. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but that set it up for the apocalypse because you said the four horsemen. I don't know if they are relevant. Dude, I just comics. saw four dudes on a horse and just thought four horsemen of the apocalypse. And it turns out the next movie is called Apocalypse, mm. which I didn't even think of. And at you the know time, what? At the time sense. when that came out, that uh, end screen was probably like, imagine being in the theaters and seeing that. I would be like, I would be tripping. When is that? Did y'all know it was coming out at the time? <laughs> like that end screen how many, was tough. I think y'all had to wait three or four two or three years for that next one so yeah if they're gonna make the movie keep going in this direction man where we're gonna mess with like like time travel and we're gonna go back to like ancient times and we're gonna see like what shaped the new world and you know it turns out mutants have been along you know they said it was the next step in evolution but you know the pyramids were made what 10,000 12,000 years ago something like that um if you believe the official narrative of history right I mean they could have been made a lot longer ago than that who knows man but anyways uh if they're gonna if they're gonna be coming with that type of stuff, man, I'm here. That's for incredible. It. Like, because you know the thing and is, fun. you take like movies, like superhero movies or whatever, and you Stanley obviously had you know so much input in these movies, right? And mm-hmm. so they're made in his tone and his vision. If I made superhero movies, maybe I would add more like conspiracy elements and more like or like there's just those mysteries in life we don't know, and you just add like the superhero because. You know, makes a lot of sense. Right, then it can make sense. It turns out some of the greatest inventions, like, you know, how do they put a man on the moon? Well, it turns out a mutant did it. Because, right. You know, and so it just works. Basically. Right, and I really like works. that. But going into that, um, what I think this movie essentially did was all those loopholes we had from the ones before, like X-Men 1, X-Men 2, Wolverine, all those ones that y'all are saying, like, they're uncanny, so to say. Um, I think what that did was kind of like erased all those and created something where they can go their own direction. So you're saying, because anytime you take time travel, right, you can create a movie, make mistakes in the movie, leave holes, create a time travel narrative, and then you can find a way to like go back and basically get a second chance at the movie, quote unquote. And it almost seems like this is what these movies done. Right. And I think that's what you're trying to say. If right. Because I hate to bring I hate to bring Marvel into this because, you know, it happened after. But something similar happened in Marvel to me. Like, you know, didn't didn't a lot of them dissolve. And then they ended up being able to come back because of something that happened. Yeah. Because yeah. of the, uh, like Cause the, time the, cause the Hulk went back. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So so I think that's a similar parallel to me that that. And I know, like, we watched them, like, opposite. So, you know, we would have probably thought the same way. Yeah. We would have probably said, would have been saying, oh, yeah, that reminds me of Days of Future Past if well, we watched it first. If you want to get too scientific, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the narrative goes, if you break the timeline, it will lead to a different timeline. So, meaning, like, if I decide to, if I, if I, if she stabs me today, right, it's not like in the future the timeline's alternate. Like, if you go back and stab me and she stabs me and then we go back and change it, it doesn't erase the timeline where she stabbed me. It just creates a different timeline. Yeah. And so that's something this movie completely did away with. And they even addressed that in the movie. And then he's like, I gotta believe, you know. Uh-huh. They even addressed that in the movie. But I just thought that was interesting. So uh, Wolverine and, and um, Professor X are the only people on the same, like, timeline. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Which is great because you have to be able to relate to someone when right. you do all that. So I think it's really sad that all the experiences... Um, all the moments that Gene and Logan experienced together, uh, him and Scott, for that matter, mm. they're all in a way sort of wiped out. And I don't really know how I feel about that emotionally. Right. But at the same time, it's like it's bittersweet. But sometimes, man, I feel like things are meant to be. And if you if you have the ability to just go back and change things like that, then it's almost like. Right. Does that make Rogan, does reality, that make Rogan Logan tight again? Because maybe he never brought her there to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like I don't know, we man. have a whole gap of things we don't know about, and I think that's what the next ones are gonna be like, kind of like. Yeah, we won't get into us. that too much though. You right, know, the little holes in the plot line. We're right, try to expose those. 100. percent Not. Um, what else, babe? Okay, so the next thing. Okay, so I wrote down a list of things we should talk about while we pause it. Yeah, because there was so much to tackle. Right, I'm sure you guys understand. Because then you know it was back and forth. There was like a 1973 version of this person, a new ver- per- a new version of this person. It was like a lot, but um, we basically. Noti- Logan. We I just want to talk about Logan and his character development. If about- that's okay with you. Um so basically 
I think the important thing that I noticed for Logan's character development in this one was Logan's always the one you kind of got to go pep talk, you know? Yeah, He's always the one like, hey, man, you're everywhere. Like, stay focused on what's here. And it seemed like to me, Logan did a whole switch around because he was the one who had to get the two, like, most stubborn dudes of all time, which, you know, he had to get them together to ultimately defeat someone they both have in common that they love, you know? Right. And honestly, Logan was the guy for it. Yeah, but, you know, another thing is, like, the character development comes from the fact that he's fought such a terrible war that he's been on the losing side of. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going through that, I guess you really put it into perspective, seeing your brothers die, essentially, and your sisters die, that you just got to grow up, man. And he's, he was just, he was over all the emotions, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Magneto, Professor X, and 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 her, they all have a, a, a love triangle going on, which is crazy, because when we first saw the movie, I did not catch the vibe right, they no. were going to have a love triangle. That just came no. out of left field to me. Um, but I really liked it though, man. Um, what else, babe? So Logan definitely had good character development. The, 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 the character development is pretty good for some of the characters, but this franchise has done a way of like developing characters and then developing characters, but it's all been because of like timeline jumps. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so basically, so basically what we see here is Mystique is never going to be on the bad side. She ultimately goes to Charles side. So I guess from here on out, she's a good X man. X-Men. I mean, we'll see. Like, she seems like the type of person that can flip on a dime, though. I mean, she's right. been on this side, that side, so. Something something I wanted to just know is, like, um, in these movies that I noticed, in this one in particular, a lot of times when we're just, like, really distracted, that's when, uh, like, okay, I noticed, like, that's why I wrote it down. It was just, like, a shift of focus always that we're always not, we always don't know what Mystique's up to because there's always things that distract us from her. To, right, you right. get what I'm saying? Yeah, the show makes always, you forget. Like, always. like, we should know it's Mystique, obviously, but, I mean, guys, this really is the first watch, man, so the show just does such a good job of making you forget that it's her. Right, you just forget, like, you know right. she's there, but yeah. you're distracted by Magneto moving the stadium or something. And, and it seems so <laughs> yeah. obvious in hindsight what the storyline should be, but, dude, in, in real time, like, we might think, oh, that's going to be her this time, and it turns out maybe it's not, and mm -hmm. we just don't know. I mean, the right. movies can throw a wrench in it like that. So, um, yeah, Mystique's dope. What else? Um, I, I, oh, uh, Sentinels. Sentinels yeah. are crazy. Uh, one of the coolest things we've seen so far, some things were eerily familiar to me. Something about the way their faces opened up. I've seen that somewhere, guys. Somewhere in the culture. Maybe it was in a movie, a TV show. It was probably a Marvel movie. Could have been, be a, dude. It, it literally could have been yeah. like a comic book I saw or a cartoon I saw as a kid. Maybe they put it in like freaking Ben Ten or something. I don't know, man. But those things were really familiar to me. I felt like I'd seen them before. Right. And going with really the scary, MCU, though. guys, I wanted to say him and I have also went through the MCU where we did see the Age of Ultron, right? Right. And in the Age of Ultron, guys, we did see Quicksilver. And the only reason I know that Quicksilver was in this because my stupid self thought his name was Silver Surfer. Therefore, you guys have already told me about him. So when I noticed it was Peter, right, I saw the little girl and I can't help but think that's Wanda, you guys. Yeah, and if that like is it, right? Wanda, that's exciting because that ties everything in, and this right. is why we're watching this. Right. Yeah, because we got to see that for Wanda. But it never told that. us that, and it never even like did anything besides just say like you know that's your brother, and we right. know that's Wanda's brother. Yeah, pretty insane. I'm really excited to start Wanda Vision too, guys. Make sure that y'all stick around for that. But basically, man, let's just talk about the moral of the story. Right. So this story has a very I love this story, man. It's so much fun, but it is fantasy because it mm -hmm. has a very childish, naive almost hope to it as if like if mutants just did the right thing yada 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 they'd be six okay look guys none of that's reality okay the reality is is the moment that humans realize they're mutants and once humans realize that one mutant can lift a stadium surround you know they can hypothetically surround any building on earth with a with a with a freaking baseball stadium right they're gonna Magneto be at war it doesn't matter whether a mutant decides to spare us, none of that junk is going to matter in reality. In reality, you're going to be at war. The mutants are going to win, hands down. And it's just going to go really bad for the humans. That's the reality of it. But in this movie, one man basically was on a mission to preemptively make an attack against a mutant. So if you want to look at it historically, you, you know, you could always draw the line back. I mean, we're going to see in more movies how far this story goes back. Apparently, mm -hmm. it goes back to ancient times. But you could say, in a sense, like the humans drew first blood in right. this movie, right? But at the same time, like, if you're the humans, you kind of don't have a choice. It's just very complicated, man. Well, I, I, I still it, enjoyed that political storyline. I'm yeah. not going to interrupt you, babe. Sorry, but I'm but, but just let me get this out real quick. 
I don't know what the next one's going to be about, but when I heard it was X-Men Apocalypse, not sure what's going to happen in that, but all I know is the the political storyline, it didn't really seem to advance. It seemed to like completely change right. because reality changed. And I don't know if when they defunded that program, if that was supposed to mean that the the war sort of like calmed down and they found some type of like peaceful resolution that could mm-hmm. potentially you get what I'm trying to yeah, say. You guys yeah. get what I'm trying to say. So I don't really know where we're at politically. Right. I don't know, but go ahead, baby. Sorry. Well, I just wanted to say, and I don't know, I could have missed this. So I'm asking you really when it came in regards to Peter Dinklage, which his name was what Bolivar Trask. Did Bolivar he, Trask. did it ever say exactly why? Um, he was just an ideologue, man. Uh, because he was just a scientist. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what his political position was supposed to because be. Because when he stayed alive at the end, it kind of made me feel like maybe he's a mutant or something. There's something I don't up know. with him. There's he's something with him, important. yeah. Um, cuz he cuz it showed him in as an end scene like a cut scene to that he's somewhat like it ma- he matters. Right. I don't know. So all I'm saying man is you guys love to come in the comments and say, "Well guys, you know, like with Thanos in the MCU, you guys were like, "Actually, I got this a lot." Well, it turns out Thanos was right. It turns out Thanos was right. Yada, yada, yada. Well, just because the movie like writes itself a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that's how it would go in reality. So when I try to make these comparisons, I'm only comparing it to how I think reality would go. And in reality, dude, like I don't think the humans were necessarily wrong to build the robots, but I also don't think Magneto's necessarily wrong to realize that like their existence in general is going to be a threat to humans and they're also going to have that same mentality. So um I just think in reality, man, is I've, I've just seen a lot of people think that these people could coexist to make good decisions. But in reality, I just don't think any of that would happen. I think it would just be it'd be cataclysmic. Wait, you know what I think now that you just said that? What? I think, you know, that news broadcast where Magneto was like rallying up the mutants. Yeah. Do you think that that still happened? What do you mean? Like when Magneto was on the news and he was like telling everyone like he was basically like rallying up the mutants. He was like. Yeah, so that happened. happened. Yeah, that timeline oh, happened. Oh, so that's why it's probably that's even more of the apocalypse side. Probably it's probably like he probably is. He like, probably made things worse, right? Like, not necessarily worse because in the future, the future was just terrible. Right, like, it doesn't get much worse than that. But they were saying it could get worse. The next m- movie is X Men Apocalypse, so it could get worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, it's like that story about the the dude in the village man whose son breaks his leg. We've all heard it. And they say, I'm so sorry that he broke his leg. And he goes, well, maybe it's a bad thing. And then they come and they do like a war draft and his son doesn't get picked because he's got a broken leg. So mm-hmm. be careful what you wish for in this movie. It's just complicated, man. This movie is just, it's a really good brain exercise. But I just think in reality, man, if we're humans and mutants ever just became a thing, man, like actual mutants, then that would just be, it would just be game over. You know, it'd be game over. One person could just have the ability to set off an EMP with their mind. Can I just, can I just share? Can I share? Right, but I do want to say, though, the thing that's weird to me, though, guys, is they classify mutants, like, as they kind of classify weapons, you know? Like, there's different classifications, and, like, to me, that kind of is just showing, like, that that's a dangerous thing, you know? Yeah, they've compared the mutants to, like, uh, nuclear bombs and Oppenheimer multiple times. God, I just want to take a second to read a comment, if you don't mind. So, this is a very popular opinion that I get so many comments when it comes to these X-Men movies, and, um... Maybe you guys can help me understand why, but I'm genuinely sort of dumbfounded by this. And I don't know why so many people have this opinion, but this is what a lot of people keep saying to me. I'm not going to say who wrote this comment, but this is a comment. But before you say this, they are opinions and everyone is titled to their own. Yeah, as you know, definitely 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, you guys know that. Uh, when I say my opinion online, dude, my opinion doesn't mean more than yours. I'm just the dude who happens to like have the like if you're going to argue, he's going to argue back. Well, we're not arguing. We're just debating. Yeah, it's debating, not arguing. But, but you know what I'm saying? This person said. Eh, even not being a mutant, you have humans who are serial killers, murderers, thieves, robbers, and people like Hitler, etc. Humans can be just as dangerous as mutants, even without powers. So that argument just doesn't fly with me. And you know, it's crazy because I find that logic to just be absolutely so flawed. But it's really crazy to me how many people have basically made that comment to me at this well, yeah. point watching the X Men series. And the thing that I don't understand is like, I don't really understand where you're coming from because, like, dude, humans are. Obviously, like one human can destroy the world, right? I mean, hypothetically, that is true. But the odds are so against their favor that one human could just cause a cataclysmic event to kill all of us. But when you give everyone mutant powers, I mean, that obviously, like, like, my, like my kid recently had a bad day at school and got mad and got 
and an altercation with another kid. It wasn't nothing big, but they were just yelling and getting mad at each other because they're in like grade school, right? Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. But if you would have had the ability to like literally blow up and destroy the school, and I literally have used that example, and you guys still hit me with that comment. So I really am just having a hard time understanding. I feel like most people are going to feel like that's kind of like a ridiculous opinion, but I just don't really see how giving someone mutant powers would do anything to do anything but make the world significantly and i'm not talking like mutant powers would make the world a little bit more dangerous than it would make i'm saying dude it would fundamentally change reality in a way that you couldn't possibly fathom it would destroy the essence of like existence the world would literally look like the apocalypse right and within a month it's because like there's it, infinity crazy. powers the mutants have yeah their powers are unlimited right. i mean it's one mutant just like yeah what can you do with that like it's it's hard to defeat something like that or or defend yourself against something like that please let me know what i'm missing just let me know what i am missing but there's so many like i I do i do see where someone could argue your thing like being devil's advocate i could say because i don't because but you're saying kids you're saying kids but in this particular but there is something to like d like to say to take back what i'm saying but you're saying kids, but a lot of these, they've made it like known that they only get like their mutant stuff when they hit puberty. Okay, well, like, that's what that's I mean by kids, arg- though. But that's yeah, the but- argument that they could have for you. But that's all I'm saying, because it's also been redacted by showing kids with these issues. Yeah, but kids, kids don't even have the logic to think about what it means to like cause destruction and chaos in the world. Like they don't have the capable, they don't have the mental capacity to really understand what that means. I mean, they're prefrontal cortex is haven't even developed yet so it's basically the equivalent of giving children like adolescent teenagers nuclear bombs i think that just makes the argument even stronger i know but i'm just telling you like if you're making the grade school connect i'm just telling you i guess we can just what was your favorite part of the movie like because every part i feel like i love the franchise like an x-men like there's so many moments that like just like excuse my language with badassery in it like for example Magneto just like uh, always having something sick to do. Like with the coin, I thought you couldn't outdo the coin, man. I thought it was sick when he got the coin back, yeah. Uh, It's like a perfect little signature. I'm talking about when he when he got that guy in the head with the coin. Yeah, I thought I thought sick. nothing could and be sicker than escape, that. The original yeah. one was sick. So I yeah. thought those were sick, but I don't know that stadium thing was like honestly. I kind of like the bullet train with Logan. Uh, that was pretty fire. Yeah, um, yeah, the stadium was just. They was just showing out basically yeah. at that point. Yeah, hundred percent. They had to top that satellite. Oh, and he did the needle thing, and that was insane. Like I, I just forget how much Magneto can, how much he can actually do because you don't realize how much metal there is in your life until you're Magneto and you can just control it. He just has a lot of really cool moments. But but in terms of the movie, man, these movies are ten out of ten, especially this one. This one was freaking awesome. That's just me being sidetracked, man. I normally. Well, like, in a way, it's kind of cool to just, like, argue, like, because everyone has their own opinion on how they perceive the movie. Well, when someone says that to me in the comments, and I'm just like, what? And I respond back, there's really not, like, I realize that, dude, I kind of come off, like, like, it's really hard for me to come off of anything other than, like, argumentative, I guess. And I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm just trying to have good talk and debate, for sure. Because that, that kind of like and drives drives the engagement if you understand that I'm sure you do. I'm sure you guys understand, but yeah, when you guys say stuff, we definitely like we want to respond to you. It definitely helps the videos. So in regards to the road cut, I'm really not sure what parts were added or you know what added to the road cut other than maybe to to me, I feel like it was just Rogue was there. Yeah, you said that like you thought that like maybe the girl never like got cut right she and then they just switched. brought in road yeah. for no reason and then they just threw her in the end screen i don't know what road cut means i just took it to mean like extended edition <laughs> yeah you know? that's know. what i thought too but then i was like you know if i if you were to take rogue out of this movie i think it could have still been the same kid he just would have been really struggling i don't know yeah but you tell us what was the road cut i don't know it's really nice to see the timeline i guess in a way restored i don't know i guess you could call it restored but it's just nice to see like a happy ending man a lot of loss um a lot of death a lot of grief and logan's had to deal with all of it and seeing everything sort of i guess fix itself fix itself i guess i don't really know if i can even say that man because a part of me just feels weirded out by the idea that the timeline's not really what it was meant to be right. so there's a lot of um, questions i guess the whole point of the movie was there's no such thing as fate though i guess that's kind of what the movie was trying to say i guess in that way i don't know but um if anyone deserves to to have a second chance, man, and finally get some peace is definitely Logan. Seeing Stryker broke something in him, and you could just see the pain in his face when he mm-hmm. was seeing that. I don't know, man. I just I just hope that 
I don't know, man. I just hope that Logan can finally just get some peace, bro. Like, right. there's a movie called Logan, and I don't know. Sorry, but I don't know what it's gonna be about, but it's actually called Logan, and on the cover of it, he looked really old. Right. And I don't know what that's about. Oh gosh, I don't want to know. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna get into WandaVision, guys, and but we're gonna knock out these X Men too because I'm really invested in the story, mm. and I just can't wait to knock them out. And I want to watch every single one of them so that way, if a new one drops, we can watch it. And so that way I can finally just get like a better understanding of what this franchise right. is all about. So so when people said we didn't meet Deadpool, I guess we actually didn't. You know, we really didn't because the whole timeline. Bye bye. Well, somebody said something so funny about that. What did they say? What they we didn't meet that mouthless monstrosity. That mouthless monstrosity. Yeah, <laughs> something, <laughs> yeah like, that. something like that. All right, guys, it's been the Octobers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like always, we'll see you on the next one.